Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to move your project from Cakewalk by BandLab to Logic Pro. At the top of the screen, click on Edit. Then click on Preferences on the pop-up menu. In the File section of the Preferences window, Click on Audio Data. Click on the box to the right of Record Bit Depth. And click on 24. Then click on the box to the right of Render Bit Depth. And click on 24. This will set the bit depth of your project to 24 bits which is the best setting for Logic Pro. At the bottom of the Preferences window, click on OK. If you want to send the MIDI tracks without effects, pan and volume settings, remove any of the effects settings from the MIDI or the plugin track before you bounce the tracks. Click on a MIDI track to select it. Then click on the Solo button. If the plugin track is a separate track from the MIDI track, the plugin will now also be soloed. Hold down the Control key and click on the plugin track to select it. Both the MIDI track and the plugin track should now be selected. On the Menus tab, just above the track headers, click on Tracks. And click on Bounce Tracks on the pop-up menu. If you have any pan settings on the track, make sure the channel format is set to Stereo. Then click on OK at the bottom right of the Bounce to Tracks window. A bounced audio track will now be added below the last track. Now I would recommend renaming the track. So the track is easily identified when it is imported into Logic. Next click on Solo on the MIDI track. Now do the same with all other MIDI tracks. If you want the effects, pan and volume settings to be sent as part of the audio track, you will need to bounce the audio tracks or the effects, pan and volume settings will be lost. Click on an audio track to select it. Then click on Tracks on the menu tabs just above the track headers. And click on Bounce to Tracks on the pop-up menu. If you have stereo effects or pan settings on the track, make sure the channel format is set to stereo. Then click on OK at the bottom right of the Bounce to Tracks window. The bounced audio track will be added below the bottom track. Once again, I recommend renaming the track so it can be identified when it is opened in Logic Pro. If you don't want the original track to be sent as part of the project, right mouse click on the original audio track header and click on Delete Track on the pop-up menu.
it's good practice to rename all your audio tracks with a description to help identify it in Logic Pro. Once you are happy that you have converted all your MIDI tracks to audio tracks and you have bounced all the audio tracks you want to keep the effects pan and settings for, click on File at the top left of the screen. Click on Export on the pop-up menu. Then click on OMF on the pop-up menu. Use the Browse window to choose where to save your export file. Here I have clicked on the desktop icon to save it to the desktop. At the bottom of the export window, make sure there is a black dot in the white circle to the left of the words Embed Audio within OMF. If not, click on the white circle. Also make sure there is a black dot in the white circle to the left of the words Write with Wave. Now, type a name for your export file into the box to the right of the words file name. Make sure the Save As type is set to OMF version 2. Then click on Save. Finally, at the top of the screen, click on File. Click on Save As on the pop-up menu. Type in a new name for your project in the box to the right of the words File Name. Then click on Save. At the top of the screen, place the mouse cursor over the tempo and drag the mouse up or down the screen to set the correct song tempo for your project. At the top of the screen, click on File. Click on Import on the pop-up menu, then click on Other. Click on OMF File and click on Import. Then click on Choose. Your project will now import into Logic Pro. An OMF file only includes audio, so you will need to bounce your MIDI tracks down to audio. And although it does include the precise location of the audio in the audio tracks, it doesn't include effects, sims, or buses.